I was at Sesh Comedy. Hey guys, welcome back to another episode of Only Fians with me, Karen Elizabeth Fian, and Jared Schwartz, my reluctant co host. So, we were just talking about comedy. Obviously, that's all we talk about is comedy and weed and Jared's pitiful love life and success that I'm getting way too fast and I can't control it. <coughs> but it, com- it comes, you know, it comes in waves. I've been hearing that a lot uh, the past few weeks. It comes in waves. Past couple days, I've heard that actually, not weeks. Comes in waves. I was talking to uh, the owner of the stand yesterday, and you know, we were talking. Nice little sit down. He, he called me over, and uh, we had a great talk. Uh, now, you know, I was talking about all the shows I'm doing and how we're slowing down, but you know, things are, you know, we're looking to focus on, uh, focus on, you know, certain shows rather than. Oh my God! Were you this boring with him? The owner of a comedy club was. I mean, like, how is he just dealing with this level of ennui? Ennui. E n n u i. First of all, we'd like to announce that we're doing a spelling bee challenge once a week. We have to have Pat spell a word to increase his spelling skills to strengthen them, um, because it, without fail, every time he puts up a clip, he spells something wrong. He's a fucking idiot. Well, this week it was should have. How bad is it that I'm catching them? Yeah, I mean, <laughs> you're lucky if I watch these fucking clips. <laughs> <laughs> but this week, um, so. Let me think of a word for a Pat to spell that's challenging. Cannabis. Okay, sure. Great. That's easy, he says. Go ahead, spell cannabis. C A N N A B I S. Cannabis. Is that correct? Oh, that was between A and I. Me too. I typed in I and it came up wrong, so <laughs> with the A it worked. Really good spelling. All right, I like it. All right, so that's. One word a week. Cannabis, I mean, probably, I was thinking of mitigate. I wanted to make you spell mitigate. M-I-B-I-G-A-T-E. No, that's wrong. I'm fairly certain it's a T. It's a T. Mitigate. I don't know. <coughs> don't do this so, to me. My friends literally used to do this to me, like, growing up. Yeah, and it didn't work. I would work. say words, and they, I would, I would, I would. And what did you say, Pat? I would say words. So what does that mean, Pat? There we go. <laughs> I would say words and my, my boys would literally be like, spell that. I'm like, I, I, no, I used it. I don't give a fuck how to spell it. There was a, in my early podcasting career, uh, <laughs> one of my appearances, I was in a blackout on the Legion of Skanks telling all of the hosts to spell whatever word they had just said. <laughs> oh, you're that asshole. If you can find that clip, I challenge you to find it because I, I think Lewis has buried it because um, we were all really bad on Please that Please find it. I want to know who the true Karen is. But uh, that was gnarly. This is an imposter. Well, this is just the reformed Karen. This and is I the, love it. You know, the Karen who puts her health first. It's the one that's really, you know, lift up, lifting up everyone around her, you yeah. know, rather than stumbling into them. Yeah, I mean, I wanna, I wanna, I wanna tell Joe Rogan. She's that, still stumbling into garbage dudes, sucks. if you know what I mean. I wanna go on there and just trash other podcasts. Cause they're great. I don't know why. I know. We should get them back on. <laughs> now that we've upgraded, we really should. But why does they their set? Really why does us. our set look so good and ours is so boring, Pat? Yeah, what happened to that sign we were buying? What happened to that yeah, sign? Yeah, put some stuff, like background art. <sighs> yeah, I thought we had that. Start, we never like, followed up on it. Didn't you send that guy the logo? She has, she has money. How much was it? It was 15. I think it was $1,500. Oh, that's a lot. Yeah. For art, not for the neon sign. The for the mosaic sign. 1500 I don't know. We could spring for well, it. You're out here buying $28 mugs from the Van Gogh Museum. First of all, that was Van Gogh. That's worth a lot of money now. <laughs> now that How's I've, it do on the resale market? Now that I spit in it. At least like if you're a fucking sign, you re- it will do great on the resale market. If you, you, or right. it How will also, long is it going to take sure to make? I'm sure you can also just, you know, play with it on another site and it'll help you out. Don't, that's that was, still me making money, you fucking dweeb. Why don't you throw down 200 for it? I'm taking your fume cut. Speaking of our sponsor. <laughs> <laughs> I'm stressed out again. Well, there you go. The perfect time for a fume. Fume. 
Fume. Why would it be Fume? Like, why would it be Fume? I don't know. It's because I know my guy, Fumi. <laughs> <laughs> speaking of Fume, speaking of super- You guys can go. Quit smoking. Smoking's gross. Makes you smell bad. Makes your breath taste bad. Nobody wants to kiss you. Nobody wants to even, like, really talk to you. Like, because it's not just your breath. It's, like, your whole body, your face, your hair, your clothes. You just stink. And I used to be a smoker. I used to be a smoker. Yeah, I remember I, you did used to smoke when we hung out when we first met. Yeah, I would I would always be bumming smoke. Sometimes I would buy packs, and I was uh-huh. still like working out, and I would struggle. Have you ever Have you ever picked up off the street? No. Okay. <laughs> um, I'm sure drunk me did right. Once. Probably like a crumpled up Newport. Uh, uh, it's still. I know good. people would do that religiously. Ugh. I'd stay far away from them. That's sad. I just know. I, I just know of them. <laughs> when I'm walking, Ernest, your people walk off the boat, and my, it's my just people? like they stink. They're just like they have the ugliest clothes. Who are they my look, people? Oh, Staten Island. Yeah, they just walk oh. off the ferry into <laughs> New York, like, <laughs> like I don't know where they go. No, Probably are, one building. I doubt they tourists. explore. No, the dudes who are walking in a straight line are the other Staten Islanders. No, there's a bunch of dumpy no, chicks the only who people just come here to hang for the day and go to fucking <laughs> Zara and yeah. buy one shirt on sale. I'm just being a cunt right now. No, I like it. I apologize. I love my female Staten Island fans. They're probably really good hangs. I'm being a dick. Right. Just this morning. And it's not, it's actually, okay, fine. It's not the people coming from Staten Island. But for whatever reason, that's a little bit of a hub for some like drug activity, homelessness. Staten Island? No, the ferry. Oh, the ferry. <laughs> like, Big. Oh, it's. Oh my gosh! I used to take the train home. Like when I would take the train. When I used to take the trains home. Do you hear that inhale? Like it's so loud. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> he interrupted the story, not me. <laughs> uh, when I used. I to mean, there's no way the mic didn't pick up that. When I used inhale. to take the ferry home and walk, like I would have to hold my nose walking through the ferry to exit. So ferry. you'd have to use both hands. <laughs> what does that mean? Because your nose is so big. Oh. <laughs> I hate that, one. that was mean. No, it wasn't. That was, that was a good joke. Was it? No. You didn't get it? I, I know. Because your nose is so big, you'd have to hold it with both hands. It's hard because I can't see my nose. I don't know my nose like that. I'm telling you. <laughs> it's fucking huge. And you know what it is? I'm still used to the first nose I had. Oh, that's right. You broke it when you were nine or 11. I don't care. Go back and listen to episode seven of that if you want to bore yourself to sleep. If you can't fall asleep. Go listen to how stupid Jerry <laughs> broke his face. <laughs> Sorry yeah, about that. Yeah, the ferry is disgusting. Yeah, it's it's any sort of transportation hub, right? Like Port Authority, Penn Station. It's the only free Station. transportation in the city. But hey, at least I'll have a home if I don't make it in comedy. <laughs> I mean, it has the word island in it, you know? Like... Nantucket's an island. Martha's Vineyard is an island. Like oh, Staten Island's beautiful. Staten Island, you know? <laughs> Why can't let's rebrand it? Staten Island's beautiful itself. You're just talking I've about the ferry hub. Been there. I know. I've been there. But I mean, like, I feel like maybe maybe that's where I opened my boutique sober hotel. Sober Staten. We got a few already. <laughs> I know, but your rehabs are like sad. Yeah. This one's gonna be fun. <clears throat> I got nothing, you but, nice, I got nothing but nice things to say about Staten Island. I know. Staten Island's got great comedy talent. Some of the top talent in the game right now. If you think about it. Yep. Colin Jost, Pete Davidson. Jared Schwartz. The Impractical Jokers. Oh, yeah. The trifecta. <laughs> <laughs> I don't know. Just as if, if they can make it, I think I can make it. Why? <laughs> They're talented. <laughs> <laughs> I mean, oh, no, Colin's so charming. I mean, he's marrying. He's Harvard. so smart. He went to like Harvard. So handsome. Yeah. And Pete's all like, you know, traumatized and dark. And I mean, you still breastfeed. <laughs> I mean, you still. No, you're growing up every day. No, no. I still Sometimes I see pictures of you. I'm like, oh, my God, is Jared a man? <laughs> I've been, people have been asking me if I'm growing a mustache. I'm like, no, this is the only facial hair I can grow. It's awful. It's so bad. I try not to look at it. I try to make, like, look at your hair because your hair is cute. Like your hair, and then your eyes. I, pr- I try to pretend you don't have a bottom face. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, I don't have a shaving schedule. I mean, 
My uh, shaving, yes, my you shaving do. Schedule. It's once every three weeks well, when no, it gets it's, long it's enough to <laughs> shave. <laughs> or it's once when people ask me, are you growing a mustache? I'm Wait, but what about the, remember I told you you had these like wispy yeah, hairs yeah, yeah. here? I've had those growing the whole time. But did you get, here's I did, a, I did shave them. You didn't take, take care of them. Like we were driving and like. The sunlight was hitting my neck. It was, <laughs> it was golden hour. <laughs> like wheat in the wind. Like these like wisps. <laughs> When they stuck Whiskers. out so long, they were like, I was like, I got to tell them. Because it like, <laughs> it was giving me like Muppet vibes. You know how Muppets have like hair in the wrong places a little bit, or like other places. <sighs> it was like wispy. Muppet and- vibes. It reminded me of the new cartoon I put out. You please check out my cartoons. They've been going great. We just recorded another one this week. I'm so excited to put that one out. It's going to be very funny. People are saying to, you know, people are loving them. I'm getting paid in compliments. It's been a. Because I really haven't been getting paid. No, I haven't been getting paid. I've been working. I've got three different incomes. What did you have for lunch today? Why Why is your energy so low? It's low? Yep. Uh, I think we need more hydration. Maybe it's coming off the Adderall. Coming off the Adderall? What do you uh, mean? Are we taking a break? No, we took it early in the day. Oh, okay. So we're having a little Addy dip. A little Addy dip. <laughs> I told you, it comes in waves. <laughs> <laughs> That's time energy. release uh um, no i had a good week i actually have been working uh yeah i don't care that, i don't care i'm trying to tell something i was in equinox today and a personal one of the personal trainers came up to me so i prefer to take classes shout out to all the teachers at equinox some of my favorites wait, are, are these are, all my waters yeah you're just garbage <laughs> you keep you just trash my apartment you walked in here with a bag of trash today <laughs> i did <laughs> The sushi at the I was like, way. what do you got? What do you got for us? And he's like, I had sushi. <laughs> so you just <laughs> brought garbage here? <laughs> you do it every week with this little... You treat my very expensive monthly rent apartment as a, a landfill. I feel like you're barely here. You're just out working so much. Word. I thought you said my life was like a vacation. Pick a lane, fucker. Just, just because, just, <laughs> hey, you don't got a vacation at home. Who vacations at home? That's what I'm saying. You're never here. You're just out I'm vacation. <laughs> Somebody said that the other day. I think Shafi said it. he's like, oh, your your life. Is, is. I was like, it's like a vacation, right? He's like, yeah. Who said that <laughs> about Shafi, you? About to you. About me. <laughs> you don't remember that? He's Shafi's like, the best. <laughs> oh, you were talking about his show. That's my guy. On Wednesday. Yes, and you said, oh, you should get back to the Sesh guys. Oh, email the Sesh guys, and I got to tell you something about the Sesh guys. They're all the same guy to me. <laughs> I know there's three of them. <laughs> there's two. Yeah, yeah. Oh, there's two? Yeah. They're the same guy. Um, and then. <laughs> yeah, no, it's hilarious. But one of their girlfriends with it was there last night, and I think it was Shafi who was introducing us. He's like, hey, this is, what's his name? Jamie. Jamie, and what's the other one? Lucas. Lucas. And this is, and then I like introduced myself to them, and then this beautiful blonde girl was standing Paul, next right? to him. Yeah. Yeah, I hooked and him up. I, I doubt it. They Let me about, finish this goddamn. I'm gonna bash you in the nose. Oh, I was gonna say how <laughs> <laughs> they connected over uh, me thinking I was flirting with her when we met. Yeah, he's way better looking than you. Mm-hmm. And funnier. I don't know. I didn't but see. He's his, a good guy. I didn't see his set, but they, yeah, they look like a model couple. But so Shafi introduces me to those guys, and then are, is just silent. So I go and introduce myself to the girl. What are you doing? Yeah, but what, what are you doing? I'm the telling you, this is a podcast. I'm listening. This is my podcast. I'm listening. <laughs> what the fuck? What were you doing? Putting something that was garbage down. No, you like wiped something on it. Is I it did. a booger? It wasn't a booger. Did you spit something out? I didn't want to swallow it, Karen. Why'd you interrupt the story? <laughs> because you're fucking ignoring me. <laughs> what was it? <clears throat> You were saying, so what you, was got I in, saying? you got introduced to this beautiful, no, I tall, didn't. blonde girl. That gr- proves that you didn't fucking listen, you fuckwit. He introduced me to Jamie and the other I one. I know. But not the girl. Not the girl. You did mention that. Not Chavi. And so he I. Did. And shut up. Play that back. Shut play up. that back. He did. No. He did say that. No. You mentioned the girl first. Can already. You, All right, go. I know I mentioned her. And then you said the you point, don't think. The point is him. that. It's not that I don't think. He didn't. He didn't. Shafi did well, not introduce me. You introduced yourself to her. I introduced myself to her. And then Shafi goes, oh, that's Lucas's girlfriend. Luke, and I, uh, Jamie's. Whatever. That's Jamie's girlfriend. And I go, uh, she still counts. <laughs> <laughs> she still counts as a person. He said, oh, yeah. And that just was cracking me up, too, because, like, the last clip he shared, too, he was, like, called some chick a cow in the audience. He was, like, we slaughter cows on Eid or whatever. 
you see that clip? Yeah. Shafi's a maniac. <laughs> <laughs> He's great. He just like, I, I don't know. I think he loves me, but sometimes his misogyny is not hidden <laughs> at, at, all. at all. Well, where he comes from, you know. No, I know. He's a good one. Yeah. <laughs> He's like, what? He's I'm a, letting he, you speak. <laughs> He's a well-dressed one. <laughs> Uh, shout out to Shafi. But you talked to her? No, she was boring. She was just the girlfriend. Oh, no, she's <laughs> just kidding. She, she's industry, Karen. You fucked up. I fucked up? You fucked up. She liked me. She's industry. All right, good. I don't know. I mean, every, everybody one. likes me. But yeah, I mean, so such boys are one boys. One boy. Both was that Pat? Both <laughs> are bad. Well, they're just like sighing because like all you did just there was repeat a joke that I already made like five minutes ago. So as far as contribution, we're not really Jamie, there. Jamie's a part of my class. He's he's in my class. Pretty cool. Great cool. guy. What if there was he's a... Fi- 2019's Philly's Funniest. He oh. still remains Philly's Funniest that, to this day. Because of the pandemic? Because of the pandemic. <laughs> You're gross. <laughs> You're gross because you caught the burp and ate <laughs> it. it. And ate it. Instead of letting it out, you went, mine. <laughs> <laughs> I want to hear that point back. You went mine. <laughs> mm. I'll <laughs> eat. Savory. I'll eat it. <laughs> You're so gross. <laughs> Wait, what but was yeah, I we, fucking we, saying? I have saying. We did this really cool show. Equinox. Oh. <laughs> we did this really cool show together. Who did? Me and me and Jamie. I don't care. This told, is my podcast, and I want to tell a story about Equinox. <laughs> Oh, I was just talking about me uh, doing a really cool thing in comedy. I doubt it. So, um, which I never talk about. I usually like to take the classes. Shout out to my favorite teachers, Matt Ortel. Lewis is another good teacher. There's a Kalia who's really good. Megan Cox. Can you pass that foom? Foom it up. Anyway, I love Equinox. And there was no classes today, so I did my own thing. I did yeah, 30 minutes one. on the bike. Yeah, I think we should flare up a new one. Let's Do flare. a new flavor. There's so many. Fuck, how do you get these out? You just pull it and be like less of a weak person. I pushed it. No, you didn't. <laughs> why would that? Why would that be? Like your instincts are <laughs> the opposite of what. Yeah, but you could probably push it through. No, but not, not me. Oh my god, <laughs> I hate him. It's like the one good thing in my life. You just shit all over. So I didn't take a class today. I worked out on the bike for 30 minutes, and then I was lifting weights, you know, just some, like, 20-pound split squats, deadlifts, suitcase squats, just, like, really fucking up the lower body like I do. And I also did upper body. When I work up by myself, I do, like, three different exercises, and I'll do between, like, three and five rounds. But it's, like, lower body, upper body, abs. Lower body, upper body, abs. And then I go, you know, one, two, three, four, five rounds. Depends on how I'm feeling. I like to work out for about an hour. This guy came in. And I don't know. I think I was being, like, pretty clear that I wanted to be out of the way. Like, I didn't want people to look at me. While I was working out, I was really in the corner. What, do you think you're going to be able to fix no, it? I just need something to push it all the way through. <clears throat> he doesn't have anything. He was just going to no, breathe get a paper clip. loud. You got a paper clip? <sighs> Sorry. All right. So for foam, uh pipes you got to pull out the wick i'm sure everybody knew that already anyone with a Brain. high school level education would figure that out you're an embarrassment i have an associates you i don't like associating with you <laughs> <laughs> can i just so okay so i'm working out and the guy comes in and and I'm like doing hard work. I'm lifting heavy weights. I'm a little girl. I have to focus on my form or I'll hurt myself. Whatever he does. And I got my beats on. Beats on, working out. Would you interrupt me? Nah. Nah, right? It's like steer clear vibes. Like I'm like angry. But never, how do you feel about dudes coming up to you? At, at if you're a regular guy and you're like really hot, like you can. But it better be like, you better have something pretty funny to say. I guess. Not funny. I don't know. If you're regular and hot. Regular you, like what? Seeing you there on a daily basis? Yes. But if you're, this guy was trying to sell that. me a package. Like he wanted to, he was like, let me give you a CPT. <laughs> Is it feel malicious? Feel nice and relaxed. Just relax. Don't, don't worry about me and the story I've been trying to tell the entire episode. Just chill out. <laughs> I was already chilling. So he comes up to me and he goes, he's like, you're so fit. Like totally interrupts me. It's like, you're so fit. He's like, I'd love to give you a CPT just because like I want to see. What does that mean? It's a complimentary personal training session. Oh, okay. 
But the way he was like, he's like, I want to give you CBT. You're so fit. I just want to see. I thought he wanted to give you C. But it's like pretty sexual about like, honestly, like, like, just like kind of like elevator eyes. And I was like, uh, and he was like kind of cute, but also had like a tiny bit of a gut. And I'm like, in my head, I'm like, how are you going to help me? Like, I'm <laughs> better than you. Like, first of all, no offense, but you're a personal trainer at Equinox. I know how much they make. Second of all, how much uh, you make? not a lot. I'm in better shape than you. So what? And I get it. They're trying to make their like Living. sales. Yeah, yeah. Like they, you know. That's what they got to do. Right. They're out here barking at the gym. But he was barking on the wrong tree. <laughs> That's funny. But, uh. So I said to him, I was like, I don't know. He's like, I'd love to schedule like a per-. and I'm like, I don't know. It's like I just have like a really busy schedule, so I don't think that'll work. As you're at the gym. Yeah, I know. As I'm at the gym at eleven AM on a Friday, like bitch does not work during the day. <laughs> she works on her body and her personality. Body's light years ahead. <laughs> Where's right. mine? What? People have been telling me I look like I've been I'm dying. I wore shorts the other day. Somebody was like, where are your legs at, bro? Yeah. Multiple people. I don't know. It's like They weird. said I've been looking skinnier. You want a gas pass? You want to go like lift? No, no, no. I don't got time. I don't got time for nothing. Besides chilling. That's been my problem. One day we could just go. Like, well, you can do one of my little circuits. See if you can keep up with me. Exactly, yeah. I'm not going to be able to keep up. I got to get back into a rhythm of working out on a daily basis. Yeah. I have not been doing it. I mean, you're like what you need to do because you're so young is so less than like, you know, what I need to do because I'm so old. What so, I know. So you should embrace your youth. Like you still have this like top notch body. It could be. I'm, you know, let me tell you my 20s. This was a cesspool. It was like fucking booze, cigarettes, food. Sure. Once in a while. If it, like, <laughs> if it fell into my face, if it was pizza. Like, I treated my body like shit. If it fell into my face, you were probably the one falling into it. Uh, yep. Nine concussions. Eight stitches. Oh, my God. You know, <coughs> I'm doing great, though. I've only ever blacked out twice. Phil. Oh. I should have been like, what are you doing? I was about to tell a story. I'm about bl- blacking out? Yeah, and I was going to say, I woke up in this dude's bed, and he was sleeping on the couch. <laughs> he gave me the fucking, his his bed. It was some random kid that was, like, not even staying. I was staying with my boy. It was my boy's friend. Actually, no, I think I woke up next to the kid. You woke up naked? No, my friend was on the couch. My, like, it was just, it was the kid I went and visited his friend that I ended up, like, getting fucked up at. Like, we pregame there, and then, like, we brought the party back there, and then, like, I ended up just fucking getting fucked up. Puking so on the toilet. So they gave you hugging, the bed? Hugging the toilet. No, I just... I remember, what what set you up? Did you mix your lights and darks? Mm, yeah, liquor liquor before beer. I did, beer before I did, liquor. I did, never been sick. There liquor before beer in the clear. I did, I did beer before liquor. Doofus. Yeah. And then I went and I remember hugging the toilet all night. Next thing I know, like that's what I, last thing I remember. Next thing I know, I'm waking up in this kid's bed. Right, and poor thing. I see him to the left, and I'm like, I gotta get the fuck out of here. I walk out as I'm walking out. I see my boy on the couch. <laughs> I'm like, oh shit, what's good, bro? Yeah, he's like, yeah, yeah. Like, all right, no. I remember being like that young and reckless. Like when I was in college, my friend Jane Della Pena, shout out to Jane the Brain, Jersey Jane. We shared a bedroom my junior and senior year of college on 89th Street, and we were drunk 365 days <laughs> out of the year. We would wake up and like whoever had to like get in the shower first, we would hand the other one a beer in the shower. Oh God, we disgusting. were just like, we were just like fuck dudes like across the bed from each other. We'd be like air high five. As yeah. you're fucking? Yeah. We'd be like get it. You guys would fuck together? I mean, we wouldn't fuck the same guy. But no, obviously. I'm saying you guys would. Yeah, not, not in unison. We weren't perfectly synced up. <laughs> but yeah. We'd That's be pretty fucking. cool. We were I've drunk. Never, Everybody was drunk. I've never had sex beside someone. I mean, I did that shit in high school. What? I did that in high school. Wow, it's so cool. I don't know. What I wish I drank more in high school. I, I mean, all smoke. you have to do to like to do this like fun adult adult sexual stuff is like not live with your parents. I almost. I remember I was in a group chat with these uh, girls. Yeah. Uh, in high school. Yeah. It was these three girls. Yeah. I'm wondering this is a new tactic. I say yeah. Let's see if we can speed it up. Get to the good stuff. That's hilarious. Yeah. <laughs> And uh, there was one girl who I liked. Yeah. But the other two, one of them had a boyfriend. Mm-hmm. 
The other one had a boyfriend, then they broke up. Backstory, we don't need it. Could have right. cut right. that. You're right. Go ahead. Two uh, girls, group chat. One girl was a freak. Let's go. One I'm ready. I'm excited. Two girls, group chat. I can't wait. Three, gr- three girls. Three girls. Three girls. I don't know when we picked up another girl. <laughs> I, honestly, they didn't have to bring that up. But uh, no, we had set up like outside the chat. Like the one who had a boyfriend, I was boys with. Right. And you were going to fuck his girl. No, we were going to play 2K while the one who Those. was a freak is into me. Like sucks it was in the sucks uh, your dick and his dick. His girl playing. sucks his dick. The freak sucks your dick. Yeah. While you're playing but video like, games. But I like the other Whoa. one. And the other one was into me. And then she found that out. And then the group chat was done. Oh, she's like, how dare he? I didn't want to suck his dick while he plays video games. I'm a lady. That's so weird when people just like kind of spaz out. No. She probably thinks about your dick every day. Like, that was Man, the girl. I that I was the first girl who. That was the girl who gave me my first blowjob. How'd she do? She did. I bet my first blowjob was, pretty, job was I, I lasted so like bad. Forty-five minutes. No, you didn't Excuse last me. for forty-five minutes. I you did. tortured that poor girl for forty-five. Forty-five minutes. Fuck you. I mean, who's putting in forty-five minutes? She did put in forty. Should have married her. I had like, I had like, uh, I had like jerked off right before she came. <coughs> so you set her up to fail. You're a fucking dick. You emptied the tank before she blew you. Yeah. So then it took you forty five minutes to come. What? So that then I'd have to hang out with her, for probably after that. I would have came in three seconds probably. Well, why couldn't you like jerk off great. in the morning? I remember like I was. It was like <laughs> she had came over after school. She had came over. That just there's no way that's a sentence. There's <laughs> I said no. She came over. No, you didn't, Pat. What do you say? She had came over after school. She had came over. She had came over. Is what As you said. I had. Yes. You don't speak English all, all of a sudden, like sometimes. All of a like, sudden. <laughs> Go ahead. She had came over. I mean, there's the the subject verb agreement is making my head fucking spaz out. Like the past tense. Sh- just say she came over. She came over after school. Like the way we like uh, actually like she was trying to hook up. She's like, Jared, we should hook up. Yeah. And I was like, nah. She's, and then like why you weren't attracted and to then her? like at that point why didn't you yeah, i wasn't attracted to her okay and but she was hot enough to get a blowjob from yeah i hadn't gotten blown yet i was like Damn, i hadn't like, gotten blown yet i was like i got so it, excited to get my blowjob i was like hey i got would, it i was like would you see you, the next day would you're you so me? annoying she's like yeah we hooked up for like legitimately three seconds i was like i was like we she came to my backyard we were sitting on the bench i was like all right so what are we doing She's like Jared. You're like skeeving me out. She's like kissing me. The way me. you treated like, this girl makes me n- nauseous. So what yeah. are we doing? Ugh. She's I the one who set it up. Why can't she make the moves? I guess you're right. That's what I'm saying. She's like, you gotta kiss me. I'm like, I was like, you set this up. <laughs> I was like, all right, fine. It I'll all gives me the yuck vibes. Yeah. I don't like it. We did it, and then she started blowing me on my bench outside. Forty-five. RIP to that bench lasted a good 15 years. I mean, I really want to set expectations. And then very we went into my, I took to anyone into my that I date. If you get a 45 minute blowjob from me, you better have just given me $4,500. That's the only way I'm doing a 45 minute blowjob. I'm sure you got some buyer. I know I should have made it 9K. <laughs> should have made it. Should have made it nine grand. No, but I mean, and I it was and gr- it plus was gr- I would have to be in love with you. <laughs> yeah, I remember. It was I'd have to start with being madly in love hey, with you. Some girls like sucking dick. I understand, and like I can in the moment, but like she's a reformed whore now. That chick. I miss her. She's There's a comedy duo called the Reformed Whores. They're really funny. They write their own music, and it's really funny. You guys should check them out. Just a plug away, you know. Just a plug in, plug in away. Yeah, please come to a Mama's Boy comedy show. The stand was great yesterday. Uh, we we out of the out of the twenty four audience members, there were three males, and one of them was my grandpa. My grandparents showed up yesterday. Why didn't I get to meet them? Ernest you weren't so there. Yesterday, yesterday, uh, you th- I saw you. Yesterday, first of all, you need to let me tell my comedy adventures because they're more interesting than yours. I performed at a fundraiser for, and they were raising money for. We're doing uh, a fundraiser together. This company or these people that make wishes for kids at the end of their lives, <clears throat> which is like you can't make fun it's of like that. Like a make a wish, right? Uh, yeah, 
And it's like make a wish, but like it was a different one. Off brand make a wish. You know? No wonder they booked you. (laughs) (laughs) They're like, like, we tried to find you a prostitute. (laughs) (laughs) This this chick's not going to fuck you, but you can look at her butthole. (laughs) (laughs) That's funny. (laughs) See, Jared, that was good. Okay. We might have to do an hour podcast. Because Jared are- gets funny 32 minutes. <laughs> <laughs> 32, 33 well, minutes in. I, you know what I think it is? Because we talk about you in the first half. <laughs> I don't know. That was just a story about you that we just laughed about. I hate him. <laughs> I hate you. Why are you trying to flip it on Do you me? want to talk about I how, I, even- how I got on a Brooklyn Comedy Club yesterday again? Yeah. It was really funny because... Uh, I'm just hanging out there doing Negri, no show, no calls for a spot. Ooh, I'm like, really I'm like, living I'm up like, to that last name. <laughs> I'm like, hey, I'm like, Mike, he's like, nah, I think we're calling it. I was like, he's like, nah, I think we're calling it. My, the, no, the there's host, no audience? The, no, great audience. He's like, dude, uh, there's a great audience. I'm like, yeah, I know. I know. Calling like, what? The show. Like, this is it. Like, that's the last comic. We're calling it. Oh, yeah, he wasn't yeah. going like, to like eight squeeze min- 80 on? Minute, he's like, oh, nah, 80 it's, it's an 80 minute show. With, Harrington, uh, for, stick to your guns. <laughs> Fuck Jared. Fuck so the, Jared. The host, the dude host, and my guy Brett Rabel. You know Brett? You, does he have a beard? No. He cut, He's host and he comes to the back. I'm like, hey, what's up, Brett? And Mike's like, Brett, Jared wants to go up. I was like, he's like, the mic's in your hand. I don't, I don't, I don't you know. I don't control he said what that you can gay say. gay shit. The mic's in your hand. What? He said one of you no, homosexuals. No, then, he's like, he's like, no, but then he's like, yeah, you the know, mic's I, in your whatever hand. You, whatever you want. To your do. power is mighty. <laughs> the mic, the wish, the future. Basically, it's like it was that like back and forth, and and Mike was like, I'm bored. He, I'm bored of this story. Mike, Mike said, Hey, just so you know, I'm bored. Mike said, Jerry, you're gonna put bread on your show, right? In a couple Mike, weeks. Why? Yeah, he's, <laughs> He's like, this is what you do, so I'm doing what you do. What you do. I mean, I don't see what that gets, Mike. Is your dick gets okay spot. He's like, you're going to get bread on, right? I was like, yeah, I'll get bread on. He's like, Brett, he, he, you can put them on, but, you know, that might affect your spots here. Do you think I'm going to stick what's red? And then? Redder than normal? The best part is, okay, cut all that pat. We leave, like, the one detail of, like, Brett saying, no, nah, I'm not going to put Jared on. I don't know who Brett is. Because he le- Mike left it up to Brett if he wants to put me on or not. Right. And he was like, you know, that <laughs> might determine or might not determine how I book you going Follow forward. Follow us on Instagram. Check us out <laughs> on YouTube. But then Thanks Brett goes listening. Brett goes up to close out the show. He goes, all right, guys, that's been our show. And the audience goes, oh, man. He's like, wait, you guys want more show? <laughs> and then the chant starts, more show, more show. And then he was like, all right, if you guys want it, Jared Schwartz. <laughs> and he brought me up. And I got I closed out with a six-minute spot. What a charmed life you lead. That's great. Good for you. I'm happy for you. Thanks for listening, you guys. Check out Fume. Uh, go to their website. What's the code? Breathefume, F-U-M dot com. For t- enter code only for 10% off. I love what Pat did with the, with the bringing it up. He, like, flashed it. Like, he made this his first so commercial. We don't need, the, we don't need this. <laughs> Thanks for having me on again, Karen. We gotta go catch your four spots and maybe I can get on one. New York City comedy. Come check us out all over town. Eastville, Santa New York, The Stand, all these fucking alt rooms. Come out. Mama's Boy Comedy. Enjoy yourselves. Goodbye. It's only, it's only she is.